Good morning, everyone. It's day two of our May 2017 Walt Disney World trip. And uh, this morning, we're heading down to the pool. We just got ready. It's around 9.40 a.m. And uh, it looks pretty gorgeous outside. Here, I'll show you a look. Woo! We got that pool view. We're in the 60s section. Water looking nice. So we're gonna go down now, relax for a little bit, and then head to Epcot after that. We uh, just left our room. We had an awesome time down there at the pool. Now we are gonna go get a bus. We're actually gonna go to Hollywood Studios first. Yeah, we decided that during this trip. Yeah, because we went to get... Some pins! Yeah, <laughs> we heard the, uh, what are they called? The Disney Films. The mystery box of the films. Yeah. We like that, so we wanted to trade with us. Yeah, we heard they're only released there. So we're gonna go check that out first before we head to Epcot. On the bus to Hollywood. There's Flower and Garden up there. It ends this weekend on the 29th. So we'll be hitting that up later today. Just got to Hollywood Studios on this beautiful day. Gonna go hit up the pass holder entrance here, even though it's not that busy. Still gotta take advantage of it. <laughs> All right guys, as soon as you come in here on the left, or on the right, is the dark room. This is a new pin store location, so we're gonna go check that out. Daddy. That's so seriously. <laughs> No one that lives here. <laughs> well, this is what they have. It looks like they're out of the Disney Films Mystery Collection. What a letdown. All right, guys, we are leaving Hollywood Studios right now. They didn't have the Disney films pins, but we just we did just film the Storybook Steeds uh, unboxing video. So keep an eye out for that on the YouTube channel. It's not gonna be in this vlog, so it's a separate video. But now we're gonna go get the friendship boat and head over to Epcot. Flower and garden time! Woo! Yeah! Look at that fish, guys. Let's go to the back of the boat. On the boat. Can you do the reps on this and then this? Sure, yeah, so this one first? Yeah. <laughs> we just got to Epcot. We are in the UK Pavilion right now. I got a uh, Bass Ale. And I got the pear cider. It's pretty good. I tried it already. How's yours, Ryan? Cheers. It's really good. This is uh, one of my go-tos here at uh, the UK. I tried this for the first time. Enjoy it. Thank you. Bye -bye. Yeah, Ryan, get those napkins. <laughs> Be clean. <laughs> I love this thing. It's so good. <laughs> Let me see what it is. Mmm, tasty. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Let's try it. Again. You can have a bite? Yeah. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> you got this last time. You know it's good. I know. I had it before. <laughs> you guys probably already saw it on my last trip vlog. His go to, I guess. Yeah. I didn't try get it. anything from here, but I'm waiting for the meats. <laughs> but I'll try this. <laughs> Let me know if you like it. Okay. Yep. Really good. good. Mm -hmm. I love it. I feel like it could be like a breakfast item or just a little snack. It's pretty big compared to the other things they get. I know. And Everything it was only else is small that they get. Four seventy five, that's not bad. Good deal. Yeah. Okay. Nice and flaky. Mm. Nice and flaky. <laughs> <laughs> 
Florida Fresh. They have one of my favorite beers. Should we go here or go to Morocco? We'll go to both. All right, we're gonna go to Florida Fresh real quick. And maybe get another snack or something. Then we'll, yeah, then we'll go to Morocco next. Woo. Yeah. Can I try it? Yeah. Alright. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day, guys. You too. Cheers. We got our next beverage. I got the key lime sparkling wine. And I got the Feast of Flowers Farmhouse Ale. It's very small, we give it to you and it's based like a sampler style cup. Yeah, it was from the Florida <laughs> Fresh Booth. Yep. It was pretty good. I got this also when I was here last month. He's not being very new. So. I'm not, I, I just love it. I mean, it's only here for a limited time. He so. needs to experiment new things. Tell him guys. All right, got, maybe, maybe the next booth I'll get something different. But until now I'm He's not try. because he's getting the same drink as Morocco. <laughs> I am. Um, Guys, if you want to go to Morocco and have a really good cocktail, get the Andalusian Nights. It's amazing. That's probably going to be next. But for now, we're just going to sit out here and enjoy this beautiful day in sunny Florida. Flowers. Pineapple. So here we are in Morocco. We're going to go and get the Andalusian Nights drink. It's delicious. We got the Andalusian Nights. It's so good. Here it is on the menu. So you, you take my just jumped in that mountain. It was basically taking a bath in there. <laughs> yeah, he is so... He's so... Right that, there, he's running away. Yeah, that little kid right there. <laughs> that was pretty funny. This room in here is gorgeous. Look how beautiful. There's a fountain over there. You can sit in here and chill. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh, that's the beef teriyaki. Ooh, yummy. Noodles in my tummy. And this is uh, the black Semporo. Show These, me. Lisa's having her fruit cheese. Is that it what it's is, called? It's so good. It's fruit inside a fruit roll, and it's I smother it in um, whipped cream. What kind of fruit is it? Pineapple, strawberries, and mango. Mmm. It's so good, guys. And then they put a raspberry drizzle. Just chilling up here right now. It's hot out. It's like 90 degrees, but we love the heat, so it's not a big deal. Um, we're out here next to this waterfall in Japan. I love it up here. It's such a peaceful spot to just chill. There's a little quick service restaurant here behind me if you guys have never been. You can go in there and get like regular sushi. I think I got a California roll in there before and stuff. Really good. But look at this fountain. I'm in Italy right now. It is for a nice pin. What do we get? Purdy from the 101 Dalmatian. Is that Pongo? No, it's Purdy. My brother told me it's Purdy, but. I don't know who that is. I thought it's Pongo's girlfriend. I don't know. Well, wife, because they have 101 puppies together, so they have to be married. Oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> Let's take a look at the meatballs now. <laughs> this is what we got. This is from the um, Primavera kitchen. We got the meatballs with the bread and a uh, fresh bottle of water. And you know, just chilling out here, enjoying the view in Italy. Here's the uh, Primavera kitchen where you get this at. Come to 
Song and Garden Festival if you want to get a treat. They have lots of them. We're in China right now. Just chilling. We just had a spicy lettuce wrap. Here it is. That's Ryan Ryan told me to finish it because he wasn't feeling it hundred percent. Nah, I wasn't. I had a couple pieces of the chicken. Here, I'll, was, I'll try it for you guys. You can see good. my reaction. Yeah, see her reaction. See if she likes it or not. Let's see. It's good. It's a little um you get like the full lettuce flavor. Because it like picks up the flavor of the lettuce. And it's really spicy. I don't know what that means, but all right. <laughs> so it's a lettuce flavored chicken <laughs> with a little bit of spice to it. My guy was just looking at us. He's checking us out. A lot of people look at you when you're vlogging. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Nature has created a very different and no less beautiful living system. And while this arid landscape may seem lifeless, it is very much alive. The plants and animals that have learned to survive in these harsh conditions make use of what little water they can find and avoid the scorching rays of the relentless sun. So we just got out of the land pavilion. We had an awesome dinner. I'm bloated. <laughs> Lisa's bloated. Um, why are you bloated? You really didn't have much. I'm um, drinking. Drinking. This kid here in front of us is really happy. I think he's drunk. Have you been drinking, honey? <laughs> I right. don't know why. Is that All right. What's that? Why is that red for? That's so weird. All right, my camera's acting up. Right, the music's recording. All right, guys, that concludes our day at Epcot. We're gonna go ride Spatial Growth real quick, and then head back to the hotel. And then tomorrow is Pandora. Opening day. We'll be up there real early so we can get all the merch and ride the ride. Super excited about it. So be sure to check out the uh, next day's vlog for Pandora. See ya.